This story began on the day when I decided to take a walk in the outskirts of the forest, seeking solace from the hustle and bustle of the city. The sun was already setting behind the horizon, enveloping the surroundings in its golden light as I approached the edge of the forest. Unremarkable trees stood in rows like guards, protecting the entrance to the mysterious realm of nature. Along the path leading deeper into the forest stretched a swamp, shrouded in darkness and mystery. My curiosity got the better of me and I decided to explore the place. Step by step, I approached the swamp, feeling its magnetism pulling me towards it. But as I got closer, I began to sense something unknown, something sinister. When I finally reached the edge of the swamp, I saw that the water was of a dark color, as if it absorbed the light. Gray mist hovered over its surface, and I felt the cold seeping through my clothes, making me shiver. The unknown drew me deeper, stirring my imagination. But something inside me whispered that this place harbored evil, that it concealed secrets better left uncovered. But I couldn't resist. I was drawn to this place too strongly, as if I were a prisoner of its dark force. I decided to step into the swamp, ignoring my inner warning. As my foot touched the water, I felt the moisture seep through my boots, as if the swamp were trying to swallow me whole. I continued to walk, sinking deeper into the darkness with each step. And then I saw it a strange creature emerging from the water. Its body was covered in decay, and its eyes glowed with a greenish light, as if they contained all the horror of this place. My heart froze, and I stood still, staring at this nightmare creature. It approached me, its steps making hissing sounds, as if it were hungry and seeking its next victim. Fear gripped me, and I turned, running away. My breath was caught in panic, and my legs carried me as if on their own, through the swamp, away from this place of horror. Darkness enveloped me, and I felt it reaching out for me, trying to pull me back. But I didn't stop, running until I emerged from the forest, until I saw the light that promised safety and freedom. When I finally escaped the shadows of the forest, I felt relief, as if I had returned to the life-giving light. My heart still pounded heavily, but now it was beating from fear, from meeting the unknown in its most sinister manifestation. Now, returning home, I understood that encountering what lurks in the depths of the swamp was just a harbinger of something much darker and more dangerous than I could imagine. The dense forest enveloped me in an eerie silence as I wandered deeper into its labyrinthine depths. The fading light of dust cast long shadows that seemed to dance and whisper among the trees. Panic gripped my heart as I realized I had lost my way, disoriented in this unforgiving wilderness. Every step I took felt like a futile attempt to escape the clutches of the forest. The trees loomed overhead, their branches reaching out like gnarled fingers, ready to snatch me away. I stumbled upon fallen logs and tangled bushes, my fear intensifying with each passing moment. The sounds of nocturnal creatures echoed through the stillness, their haunting calls only adding to my unease. The forest seemed alive with unseen eyes watching, and a sense of foreboding settled over me like a heavy mist. As darkness descended, I knew I needed to find shelter before the night grew even more treacherous. As the last rays of sunlight disappeared, I stumbled upon a dilapidated cabin hidden amidst the trees. Its weathered facade seemed to mock my desperation, offering a glimmer of hope in this desolate place. With trepidation, I approached the cabin's decaying door and pushed it open, revealing the darkness within. Inside, the air was heavy and musty. Cobwebs draped the corners and dust particles danced in the faint light that filtered through the cracks. The silence hung like a heavy shroud, broken only by the creaking of the floorboards beneath my feet. The cabin bore the scars of neglect, as if abandoned for years. Furniture lay in disarray, covered in a layer of grime and decay. Distracted by my weariness, I didn't immediately notice the peculiar portraits that adorned the walls. Seeking refuge from the encroaching darkness, I decided to spend the night in the cabin. Exhaustion weighed heavily upon me as I lay down on a rickety cot, hoping for a few hours of respite, but sleep eluded me. As I stared at the dimly lit room, 
my eyes were drawn to a series of portraits hanging on the cabin's walls. The faces depicted were twisted and distorted, their eyes seeming to follow my every move. A shiver ran down my spine as I realized the unsettling truth they bore an uncanny resemblance to the people who had disappeared in these woods. The portraits were haunting, their subjects frozen in time with pained expressions etched upon their features. The brushstrokes captured their anguish and despair, as if the artist had somehow captured their very souls. The longer I gazed at the portraits, the more I became convinced that they were more than mere paintings, they were windows into a past that refused to be forgotten. Nightmares plagued my restless mind as I lay there, trapped between wakefulness and slumber. Whispers echoed in the darkness, a chorus of voices that seemed to emanate from the portraits themselves. Their haunting words filled my ears, weaving tales of unspeakable horrors that awaited those who dared to trespass upon this forsaken land. The portraits seemed to come alive, their features contorting into macabre expressions. I could almost feel their accusing gazes piercing through my soul, as if blaming me for their fate. Fear consumed me, threatening to suffocate my sanity. In the depths of my troubled dreams, I found myself standing in the very scenes depicted in the portraits. I witnessed the torment and suffering that had befallen those lost souls, experiencing their anguish firsthand. The forest closed in around me, its dark tendrils reaching out to claim me as one of its own. The first rays of sunlight pierced through the cracks in the cabin, ushering in a new day. As I slowly emerged from the clutches of sleep, the room was bathed in a warm, golden glow. I blinked, rubbing my eyes in disbelief. To my astonishment, the sinister portraits that had haunted me throughout the night were gone. The walls were bare, devoid of any trace of the haunting faces that had tormented my dreams. Confusion and relief washed over me in equal measure, leaving me with more questions than answers. Had it all been a figment of my imagination? A trick played by my weary mind? Or was there something more sinister at play? The disappearance of the portraits only deepened the mystery, leaving me to ponder the true nature of the cabin and its haunting inhabitants. Leaving the cabin behind, I ventured back into the forest, forever changed by my harrowing experience. The mystery of the haunting portraits remained unresolved, leaving me to wonder if they were a product of my own weary mind or something far more sinister. To this day, the memory of that night lingers, a chilling reminder of the darkness that lies hidden in the depths of the woods. The forest whispers its secrets, and I listen, hoping to uncover the truth that eluded me that fateful night. Days turned into weeks, and weeks into months, but the enigma of the cabin and its vanishing portraits continued to haunt my thoughts. I delved into research, seeking any shred of information that might shed light on the cabin's history and its connection to the lost souls. Old newspaper clippings and faded records revealed a grim tale of tragedy and mystery. It seemed that the cabin had once belonged to a reclusive artist known for his uncanny ability to capture the true essence of his subjects. Rumors swirled around the artist, whispers of dark rituals and a connection to the supernatural. As I dug deeper, I discovered a pattern a series of disappearances that occurred in the vicinity of the cabin all linked to those who had crossed paths with the artist. The missing individuals shared a common thread they had all ventured into the woods, seeking inspiration or solace, only to vanish without a trace. With newfound determination, I returned to the forest, driven by a need to uncover the truth and bring closure to the restless spirits that lingered within the cabin's walls. Equipped with cameras and recording devices, I embarked on a quest to document any paranormal activity and capture evidence of the haunting. Night after night, I set up camp near the cabin, my senses on high alert. The forest whispered its secrets, the wind carrying distant voices that spoke of pain and longing. Shadows danced among the trees, their movements enigmatic and elusive. Then, one moonlit night, as I sat in the darkness, the cabin beckoned me with an otherworldly allure. Its windows glowed with an ethereal light, drawing me closer. With a mixture of trepidation and curiosity, I stepped inside. The interior had transformed. The walls were adorned with portraits once again, 
but this time they were not twisted and distorted. They captured moments of joy, love, and serenity. The faces of those who had disappeared stared back at me, their eyes filled with gratitude. It became clear that the cabin was a bridge between worlds a gateway for the lost souls to express their stories and find solace. The artist bound to the cabin and the forest had unwittingly become a vessel for their pain and anguish, channeling their emotions onto the canvas. Moved by this revelation, I dedicated myself to preserving their memories. I photographed the portraits, capturing the essence of each lost soul. Their stories deserve to be told, their presence acknowledged. In time, I published a book, a collection of photographs and narratives that shed light on the haunting of the cabin and the forest. The book became a testament to the enduring power of art and the resilience of the human spirit. The cabin, now revered as a place of remembrance and healing, stood as a testament to the mysteries that lie hidden within the woods. It became a sanctuary for those seeking solace, a place of pilgrimage for those who wish to pay their respects to the lost souls. And as for me, I continue to explore the depths of the forest, forever drawn to its enigmatic allure. The whispers of the trees carried with them a sense of wonder and reverence, a reminder that there are some secrets meant to be preserved, some mysteries meant to be embraced. And so the tale of the lost wanderer in the woods, the haunted cabin, and the mysterious portraits remains, a haunting reminder that sometimes the most profound revelations lie within the shadows, waiting to be discovered by those brave enough to venture into the unknown.